I don't want to do a DIY channel, but sometimes you get forced to do things you don't want. Mid-July 2015 I published a review of the Hi-Fi Berry Digi Plus SPDIF interface board for the Raspberry Pi 2B and was quite enthusiastic about it. Four months later Scott C. Kramer posted the following reaction on the Digi Plus board review. If you still have the Digi Plus you should try it with a linear power supply. You can solder a header to the board that can power both the Pi and the Digi Plus. Another benefit is this bypasses the Pi switching power supply, fuse protection, etc. This gave a very big improvement to the sound, very, very smooth. I told him I'm rather clumsy with the soldering iron and I don't want to run a DIY show since that's not my forte. But I still had the Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus Pro board lying around that should be tested, so I tried Scott's trick to that board. You see the link to that review in the top right corner. The result was impressive so I decided to do it on the Digi Plus board as well. I already had experience with another trick, mounting foam of conductive plastic between the Raspberry Pi board and the Digi Plus board. That foam is normally used for storing chips in to prevent damage due to static discharge but the cell structure absorbs high frequency signals quite nicely too. So I cut a piece of this, the size of a Digi Plus board and two pieces of cardboard to sandwich the foam. The foam cannot be in contact with the PCBs of the components since it's conducting. It appeared to be a waste of time. The top end of the frequency range still wasn't what, I, what it should be. It probably was better than many demand but I heard the open mid-range and wanted the same from the highs when playing on my set 1. Scott's tip came from using it with a Digi Plus board, not a DAC Plus board, so I knew, or at least expected, clear results. I soldered the angled print header to the board and drilled the hole in the acrylic housing, just as I did with the DAC Plus Pro. And I used the same power supply, the S-Booster Best of Two Worlds 5V 1.5A filtered linear power supply. The Coex SPDIF was connected to the Cord QDB76 HDSD in my set 1. The result was clear, nothing in life is perfect, but this was coming surprisingly close. Certainly giving the 325 euros for the complete set including the S-Booster power supply. I still had the option to cut away the power line between the Raspberry Pi and the Digi Plus board. But up to now anything I had done was non-destructive. Cutting a track on the board or bending two pins on the GPIO connector that carries the power was destructive. So I decided to stop here. Using a well designed linear power supply connected directly to the Digi Plus board does improve the sound quality to a large extent, provided you use quality source material and playback equipment equal or better than my set 2. If you only play MP3s on a 500 euro set, don't bother, but if you use anything close or better than my set 2, spend the money on an audiophile linear power supply, do some soldering and drilling and you have upgraded your set considerable. If you want to remain informed, subscribe to this channel, follow my Facebook or Google Plus page or my Twitter account. You can also post questions there. You will find the information below this video on YouTube. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and tell your friends on the web about it. I am Hans Beekhuizel for the HB channel, thank you for watching and see you the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.